1994, the video game industry was revolutionized with the creation of the ESRB. However, I'm about to revolutionize the video game industry with this brand new game that I made that I'm gonna introduce to the ESRB. Let's see what they go rate it. Members of the ESRB, I bring you my revolutionary game. So, what would you guys rate it? I know they started throwing stuff at me, but honestly, I think the crying was the rude part. Video games have had questionable content since their creation. From Death Race in 1976, where you ran over, uh, goblins and killed them, to Custer's Revenge in 1982, which we're not gonna talk about. Honestly, I think I need a bath even mentioning it. It was obvious over time that we needed some way to separate the Kirbys from the Splatterhouses, although those two are more similar than you might think. That's why in the early 90s, when violent video games were all the rage, with games like Mortal Kombat and Doom hitting the scene, the famous video game violence hearing took place, where the US government and various video game company representatives talked about how violent video games should be handled in the future. This led to the creation of the Entertainment Software Rating Board, also known as the ESRB. You should already know what they do. If they see Mario go say to go to hell, they slap the letter T on the video game box. Ah yes, the classic ESRB ratings. You've got E for everyone, E10 plus for everyone 10 and up, which honestly was a dumbass rating, T for teen, and M for mature. Those are some of the most iconic symbols in gaming. Everybody and their mom knows about the E10 Plus rating. However, not everybody knows that there were actually two more ratings that exist that are barely ever used. First, you got Early Childhood, or EC. This basically applies to any edutainment game made for babies or random college students on YouTube. There were about 268 games that ever used this rating, or at least that's what the fandom page tells me. However, we're not going to be looking at the EC rating today, but the complete opposite side of the spectrum. We're talking about a rating so rare that only 27 games were ever released with it. One, so controversial that every major retailer and game company ban it. We're talking about AO rated games. I, I don't actually own any AO rated games, but this is the closest thing I could find. The AO rating, or adults only, is the highest rating on the ESRB scale, even above the mature rating. It's a difference by one year, but trust me, you'll see why this is important very soon. Anyways, the AO rating is given to games that go past the line of violence and gore that even normal mature rated games have danced around. Nah, I'm f***ing with you, 95% of AO games are just bazooka related. Yes, the real reason that the AO rating was created was because there was quite a few games that, um... I right, put this delicately, revolve around recreational private activities. Despite only having 27 released games with the AO rating, 23 of them have to do with, um, sexual content. Oh my god, my mom watches these videos. Did you know that? Now you may be wondering, why are there only 27 AO rated games? AO games are unsurprisingly a huge taboo among the major game companies. All AO titles are banned from Nintendo, Sony, and Xbox consoles. Most major retailers refuse to stock them, and you can't stream these games on places like Twitch. I mean, they are technically on Steam, but they are from the ESRB and Steam's quality control is absolute sh**. If you want to release a game about wing wings on their platform, wait three days and they'll let you sell it for five bucks. Anyways, back to the games themselves, I want to briefly touch on a few of them, and not the 23 games previously mentioned. Trust me, I don't think anybody here wants a comprehensive review on Playboy Screensaver, the women of Playboy for Windows. If you do, please leave, go watch the news or something, I don't know. I want to talk about the more interesting AO rated games. Games that weren't AO rated because of sexual content, which is sadly a little amount. Now, bit of a spoiler warning, most of the games I'm going to be talking about in this section are AO rated due to violence or blood, but there is one game that got the AO rating, not because of violence or sex. It is the most interesting game on this entire list, Peak Entertainment Casinos. There's jack sh** about this online. So Peak Entertainment Casinos is a gambling game, no sh**, but what is a sh** is the fact that this game is the only game to ever receive the AO rating for something other than violence or sex. It's a shame that I can't find anything out about it other than the premise of the game and a screenshot, or maybe this was the screenshot, I don't know man, this article's from 2003, I'm pretty sure Herbert Hoover was still in office at that time. Anyways, it's a simple game, from what I've read it's just your basic virtual casino, but it used real life money, which is what gave it the 18 plus rating. Okay, maybe it's not the most interesting game on the list, but I mean, hey, it's cool seeing a new reason for an AO rating. 
To be fair, what other reasons could a game get an AO rating besides what we've seen already? A game that sells you cigarettes? A library card game? Let's quickly cover the rest of the released games, because the unreleased games are much more interesting. Manhunt 2, a classic Rockstar PS2 game has it, kind of. Manhunt 2 was the sequel to the popular stealth horror game Manhunt. I've personally never played it, but it looks very interesting. It's basically about a prisoner who goes around slaughtering people trying to hunt them. The big thing about the game was the executions. To defeat an enemy, you have to sneak behind them and slaughter them through a multitude of ways. Trust me, if grandma walked in on you playing this, she'd drop her tray of freshly baked cookies right on the ground. Despite the dated graphics at the time, this obviously wasn't cool with the government, so they told Rockstar to tone it down to M rating standards which they did, but they officially released an uncut version with the notorious AO rating. It's sort of, it was a whole mess. It originally had an AO rating and then they cut it to be M rating, because if not, they'd be f***ed. So the only real way to play this was on PC. Until now, where you can only get a digital code for Amazon. Well, it's unavailable, but it was available at one time, I swear. Anyways, enough violence and gore. Time for murder and blood with the next game, Hatred. You play as a, a man who is tired of humanity's worthless existence and just wants to kill everybody. Yeah, something tells me when Shigeru Miyamoto was programming the first Goomba, he did not have this in mind. Honestly, a quick glance at this game's Steam page, and you could tell why this game is AO rated. Also, the trailer is just so edgy, it hurts. My name is not important. What is important is what I'm going to do. I just f***ing hate this world and these human worms feasting on its carcass. I really don't want to get into details and I'm sure as hell not playing it. It's just a weird ass game. Also, some critics were calling it a piece of art? The game is brutally murdering people! They die! If Kirby starts stabbing families of five, are you gonna hang it in the Art Institute of Chicago and give it a 4.8 on Metacritic? Hey, editing Toad Pup at 1am here. Turns out that I didn't know what eschewed mean when I first saw this, so it actually meant that it wasn't trying to be art. Also, did you know that there was a lot of weird Christian comments about this game? Anyways, yeah, that's all I gotta say. I don't even know anymore, man. Does anybody care about EF, a fairy tale of two? I mean, it has sexual content, and that's probably the main reason it's AO rating, but it says blood, so I'm counting it. Also, I'm not about to watch 10 hours of footage to see some dude's wang doodle, so yeah, I think we're done covering released games. However, the released games aren't the most interesting part of the AO rating. It's the unreleased games that were supposed to get the AO rating that's the interesting part. Also, we're just talking about the ESRB here. I'm not talking about any other controversial games in other countries. Did you know that Danganronpa is banned in South Korea? <laughs> South Korea's out here doing God's work. My God, what the hell? Oh my a lot of games were actually supposed to receive the AO rating, but either weren't released or changed enough to avoid the rating. Once again, if you got an AO rating, it was pretty much impossible to make a profit on that game at all, so every game company did their darndest to get that M rating. The most popular example of this is GTA San Andreas, once again a game I really want to play but haven't gotten around to yet. GTA has so many things it could have done to receive the AO rating. The violence, the guns, the strip clubs, anything. But the reason San Andreas got hit was the infamous hot coffee mod. If you don't already know, basically it was a deleted mini game in the game's files that was supposed to be a sex mini game between CJ and his girlfriend. It was super crudely thrown together and both were still closed, so really it wasn't the worst thing known to mankind, but it still nabbed GTA that good old AO rating. Despite being removed from the final game, people found it in the game's files and discovered how to mod it back into the game, which I guess got the US government angry enough to force the rating onto the game. The game was quickly pulled from shelves after this, so Rockstar had to pull all of the copies they already had and replace all of them with non-secret unobtainable without hacking sex mod copies. It's crazy how something like that can almost completely ruin a game's release. There's a few more smaller scale incidents just like that, like the Punisher video game from 2005. The game had these gory interrogation scenes, which in fairness were pretty AO rated for the time, like slamming some dude's head in a buzzsaw or straight up cremating them. But with something like Mortal Kombat Deception getting the M rating at the time, I don't see why this got the AO rating. Obviously, they ended up fixing the interrogation scenes to be more M rated by just throwing a black and white filter on and cropping and blurring the ever loving shit out of it. I hate it when I'm about to slam someone's head in the window and everything just turns blurry and black and white. 
Those two are older examples, but the most recent example of a game being hit with the AO rating was Agony in 2018. It's a survival horror game about going to hell and trying not to be caught by demons, a mostly forgettable game with fairly bad reviews, but it is the most recent game to almost be hit with the AO rating due to the sheer amount of violence in the game. It was released with the good ol' M rating, but after a while an uncut version was put on Steam, so I guess that one wasn't on release, but I had to watch Hatred gameplay today, so just please cut me a break. The last game I want to talk about is actually the first AO game to not have any version officially released. Thrill Kill, released, well, supposed to be released in 1998, was a fighting game whose mission was to be an adult fighting game, similar to Mortal Kombat but with a lot more chains and bazookas. The game was developed by Paradox Development, who, funny enough, actually went on to be bought by Midway and develop an actual Mortal Kombat game. We all know what happened to Midway, but moving on. The game's premise is as follows, you got some schmucks who are in hell and are summoned by a goddess to fight to see which one of them could be reincarnated. The characters are uh, definitely questionable here. It's not like Mortal Kombat where you got goofy ice ninjas and thunder gods. Here you've got cannibals, dominatrixes, and surgeons who would disfigure their patients and die to a bear trap. Give me five seconds. I can make three whole characters who are better than this. All right, here's what I got so far. I've got Kill McStabby, I've got Robbie Bang Joe, and of course, I've got Kirby. We all know what he did to deserve to go to hell. Now this game was actually quite ahead of its time with four player simultaneous gameplay. For a 3D fighting game in the 90s, this was quite rare, especially on the PlayStation where you needed a multi-tap to accomplish this. Despite one very angry night of trying to get the beta ROM of this game to work, I couldn't play this game myself, so I'll have to go off other reviews to talk about how the gameplay was. Apparently, the actual combat mechanics were quite interesting. The four buttons corresponded to each limb, which led to a lot of possible combos, each with uh, interesting names. It had your standard fighting game mechanics, throwing, blocking, etc. It even had its own fatality ripoff, where you fill this meter called the kill meter by landing attacks, and you can use a finishing blow to kill someone off for that. That round and it just keeps going that way until there's one person left it's also got your basic game modes arcade mode where you go through eight stages versus mode team mode training mode sicko mode you get the gist now while the game's content itself was nothing to write home about the whole edgy adult theming of everything was a completely different story i highly recommend this video from matt mcmuscles about the production and intentions behind the creation of thrill kill it's very interesting AO rated games will always be an interesting part of video game history, unless it's an anime boob puzzle game that was released on Steam and it's not even an official ESRB rating, I would bet good money that you will not see any AO related games in the near future or even being released. Now with all that out of the way, I know what the ESRB likes. I think I should take another shot at getting super <laughs> on the video game market. In fact, I just had a great idea for a video game. Members of the ESRB, I greatly apologize for my last appearance before you, but I have something that will make it up to you. An idea that everybody can get on board with. What if you made a new Kirby's Epic Yarn game? They put me in the witness protection program because people kept coming to my house and throwing rotten fruit at me.